You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com, how are you kids doing? Uh, banging out the request. So we have another Clary Test request. And if you're wondering, what is the Clary Test request? Because you did it on that John Stump fella. What is it? It's a test that I came up with 15 years ago where I noticed that every douchebag running for political office failed these four regards. They all came from wealth. None of them majored in a worthwhile subject. None of them had real world working experience. And they're all career politicians. If you want to see a perfect example, look at Betsy Hodges. Minneapolis's formerly and currently disgraced mayor, who did jack all fucking shit to help all the minorities that she just loves so much with her white privilege. But look her up, seriously. You want to see the epitome of what the Clary test was designed to present and uh, prevent is to prevent hypocrites and charlatans and douchebags like that getting into public office. So that if you met somebody that had to work up their own wealth. Didn't major in stupid shit, had real world working experience, and wasn't sitting on some Clinton Foundation nonprofit, you know, and still working hard, maybe retiring. Those are the people that you not only want running for Congress in your local offices and national offices, but people I'd like to have a beer with. So now people pay me <coughs> to professionally administer the Clary test on different people. So we have a guy requesting, wanting to remain anonymous. Please keep me anonymous. Hey, Aaron, I'd like to do a YouTube video applying the Clary test to Russian President, President Vladimir Putin and French President Emmanuel Marcon, Macron. And uh, I, like I said, I dropped out of politics long ago when I realized I ain't going to change shit and life is too short. And so I'm going to go have fun instead. If I recall correctly, that, that douche, Emmanuel, the French president, sounds like he came from an investment banking background and... Elite, and then we all know Vladimir Putin, ex KGB, could kick your fucking ass in half a second. And I have a feeling I know where these guys are gonna come. But let us uh, let's look them up. All right, let's go look up Vladdy. Vladimir Putin. Yeah, but Putin's also like a, a judo champion. I mean, he, he just he just this one's in the bag. You know where it's gonna go. All right, Vladimir Putin. Uh, is a Russian politician serving as the president of the Russian Federation since May of 2012, previously holding the position from 2000 until 2008. He was prime minister of the Russian Federation from 1999 until 2000, and again from 2008 to 2012. During his second term as prime minister, he was the chairman of the ruling United Russia Party. Vladimir Putin was born in Leningrad in the Soviet Union. He studied law at St. Petersburg State University, graduating in 1975, All right, back when I was born. So does he has that a real degree? Eh. Plus it was Russia back in the Soviet days. Did you have a choice? I'm not going to award him a point because he falls into that baby boober category that, you know, if he was like Marx or somebody, and like, they want to major in me in philosophy and history. It's like, fuck you. But again, I don't know if he had a choice. Um, so we're not going to give him a point there. Uh, he, Putin was a KGB foreign intelligence officer for 16 years, rising to the rank of lieutenant colonel before retiring in 1991 to enter politics in St. Petersburg. He moved to Moscow in 1996. He Yeltsin, blah, 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 blah. And he's always been there ever since. Uh, he, just so you guys know, yes, I, I don't believe he, it, it's a democracy over there. I know you guys are like, he's corrupt as fuck. I, I, I'm sure he's corrupt. I'm I, But you know what? Frankly, benevolent dictator. That's where the old Capmeister is going with this one. I can remember reading about him when I used to do sovereign risk analysis back in the late 90s. I was like, oh, who's this guy? But what was it? Uh, Lebed or Lebedev? Um, there was this Russian general who was, he would have been like their Eisenhower, but then I think he died. I know, I know, anyway, uh, people don't like Putin. Uh, so this just goes through his political career. Let's go early life and education, see if he came from wealthy. Look at that fucking hair. Wait, oh, no, that's his wife. <laughs> ha! That's his mom. Never mind, those are his parents. I was like, God almighty. Yeah, he looks like Ilya Kiriakin here. Great movie. Man from Uncle. Check it out. Okay, Vladimir Putin, born 1952, youngest of three children, to Vladimir Spiro. Donovich and Mira Ivanova Putina. 
His birth preceded by the death of his two brothers, Victor and Albert, born in the mid-1930s. Albert died in infancy, and Victor died of diphtheria during the siege of Leningrad in World War II. All right. Poon's mother was a factory worker, and her father was a conscript in the Soviet Navy, serving the submarine fleet in the early 1930s. Early in World War II, his father served as a destruction battalion in the NKVD. Uh, wounded maternal grandmother was killed by the German occupiers. He did, he did not come from Winnetka. He did not have take Obama and multiply him by a negative one or Justin Trudeau and multiply him by a negative one and you get Vladimir Putin. Uh, 1960. Okay, so he did not come from wealth. Okay, so no point of order there. That's good. <clears throat> uh, start school number 193 at Baskov Lane near his home. One of the few and of his approximately 45 pupils who was not yet a member of the Young Pioneer Organization. That's like the Boy Scouts over there, but the Communist Army. At age 12, he began practice Sambo and Judo, his Judo black belt and national master of sports and Sambo. He wished to emulate the intelligence officers portrayed in Soviet cinema. Putin studied German at St. Petersburg High School 281 and speaks German fluently. Putin studied law at St. Petersburg State University in 1970, graduated in 75. His thesis was on the most favored nation trading principle in international law. Uh, while there, he is required to join the Communist Party of the Soviet Union and remain a member until December 1991. Ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba, ba-da-ba. So he graduated from college, and he went right into the KGB, uh, where he stayed until 1991, and then he entered uh, politics. All right, so uh, I, he probably has a much more interesting background, but for the sake of expediency, let's just apply the test. Did he come from wealth? No. Zero points awarded. Did he major in stupid shit? Again, like John, back in the day, pretty much any degree was a degree, a good degree. Plus, this was Soviet Russia. And I know you millennials think everything is just rosy and kosher over there. Uh, but he, I'd almost say anything pre-91, it didn't matter what you majored in in Russia or the Soviet Union. Uh, so he's not going to get a point awarded there. Does he have real world working experience? Yeah, he's in the fucking KGB. And you may say, oh, that's government work, but I, I don't know if you knew this or not, little kids of millennial generations who can't just get enough communist dick. There is no private sector in communism. You're all working for the state. Although I understand if, you know, you're a truck driver or a mechanic. But, um, so he was uh, in the KGB. And he uh, got into politics in 1991, and then with Boris Yeltsin and all that, was somewhat instrumental in ending the Soviet Empire and Gorbachev. Um, all right. So, he's been in politics coming up on 30 years now, just shy of 30 years. Uh, and that's why I'm going to have to award him a point. Uh, because inevitably you'd like to be like, uh, what was it, Nigel Farage? You, you'd like to quit. You'd like to quit. And the guy, I mean, he's got some corruption, no doubt about it. Um, billionaire, he's got companies invested, the oligarchs. Look at when, from 91 to basically 2000, it, various criminal organizations and political organizations ended up with all the assets privatizing. Oh, my God. And so uh, Putin, I think, is... What is his net worth? Did they list it? Boris Yeltsin, Boris Yeltsin. Where is his net? God almighty, look at all this stuff. You don't become a billionaire on a KGB salary. I'm sure we'll get wild estimates as to Vladimir Putin's Putin's net worth. Uh, <laughs> uh, striking a world estimated 84 billion. One less credible critic says Putin's real net worth could be as high as 200 billion. Okay, so he got his hands in on some of the uh, the privatized assets of the former Soviet Union. Uh, so that's the. It's like, dude, fucking retire. What else have you got to do? It's like it's kind of like Hillary Clinton. Like what? Go live life, have fun. Go do. I, I go fish. Go do. Do you get bored? Do you always have to be at Moscow. So uh, he gets a, he gets a point of one. He's been in office too dang long, and they did this trick with uh, Medvedev or Medvedev, the the one guy who was like president of Russia for thirty three seconds, um, so he could extend his reign. 
And uh, look, he served his country, both in the KGB, whether you like it or not, you, you could be pro-KGB or not. He did serve the Russian people. Uh, he did help bring about the end of the Soviet Empire. Uh, I think he did serve his people very well as president the first time around, but now it's like, okay, let go fish. Go do something fun. Go, you have enough money. He has less time than he does money. If I was Vladimir Putin, I'd be like, oh shit. One, how do I liquidate my massive holdings and the stuff I can go have fun and play with without it crippling? You know, like if, you, if Bill Gates were to sell Microsoft, everyone would dump Microsoft and he wouldn't get that much. Like I'd be like, okay, maybe I can just get by with $2 billion. And I go travel the world and ride motorcycles and hunt and fish and golf and chase girls in pretty skirts and I would not be present. Fuck, Moscow is cold. Oh, fuck it. Who wants to be there? Go, I'd be doing anything but a real job. But I don't know, if something happens to these people. Irons, uh, Michael's Iron Law of Oligarchy or whatever it was called. Like, once you get into office, it's a drug. It's an addiction. Um, so, yeah, it gets a point. Should he run for public office? Yes, he absolutely should have, and he did at the, at the precise historical time he was called to. Um, he will be looked favorably upon. Uh, I would say, historically, he's going to be looked as favorably upon on the par as uh, Peter the Great. Uh, what was it? I did listen to the Russian Rulers History Pod. Not Ivan the Terrible. Who are some other big ones? Everyone knows Catherine the Great. That's just because there's the Great at the end of her uh, name. But, it, yeah, it's, it's time for him to go, and that's why he's going to get a point. Would I like to have a beer with him? Hell fucking yes, I would. Absolutely. fucking lutely I would love to just sit and chill with Vladimir Putin. Um, just to, like, okay, dude, you got... <laughs> what? What stories couldn't he tell? What could he not... What was it like being in the KGB? Oh, my gosh, what cool stuff was going on there? Did you guys have this crazy... What was the spy stuff going on? And then, what's it like being a judo champion? And, uh, holy shit, what was that like? Switching from communism to capitalism. What underhanded dealings. And when you guys fired the tank rounds into the fucking parliament because of the fucking communist dickheads trying to take over. And how much did Boris Yeltsin drink? A lot, by the way, in case you were wondering. So we got that. All right, so that's it. Vladimir Putin won... I uh, would love to have a conversation with him. Emmanuel Macron. Oh, this is, why do I just sense this is not going to be as fun? Emmanuel oh, Macron. God almighty. Looks to be my age. And even, oh, he's younger than me. Oh, look at that haircut. All right. So he's president of France. Since May of 2017. That's right, we got rid of that Hollanda guy, or you guys did. <clears throat> Before entering politics, he was a civil, civil servant and investment banker. Macron studied philosophy at Paris's Nanterine University, completed a Master's of Public Affairs at Sciences Po. How, how the fuck do you get into investment banking with a philosophy background? Oh, that's right, you suck dick and you had connections. I knew I was already going to hate this guy. Graduated from the École Nationale d'Administration. Is that that school where all you French pussies go because you don't want to like actually go work at a polytechnic because you can't handle the math, so you think you're just going to like lead the, the country? He worked as the Inspector General of Finances and later became an investment banker, Rachel and C Bank. So what? He was an investment banker for 13 years. Appointed Deputy Secretary in O'Holland's first government in 2012, having been a member of the Socialist Party from 2006 to 2009. Guys, you have an investment banker who's a socialist. Fucking hell. Like, like let's just get a Satanist, to be, a Satanist to be our pastor, for fuck's sake. Have Aaron be a nice guy. You know what? It, oh, he's living a life of a hypocrite for everyone to see. And you go, hey, let's vote for him. All right, let's go early life, even though this is going to be completely pointless. Boyne and Amiens, he's the son of Francois Dana, a physician, and Jean-Michel Marcon, professor of neurology at the, oh, for fuck's sake, he's a spoiled little fucking cunt. All right, all right, so he came from wealth. He majored in stupid shit. Professional career, inspector of finances. So he graduated... What, two years? What did he get a degree in? 
I'm trying to figure out when he graduated. It's up here. Graduated. So he gets his undergrad. Let's just assume Francis the same thing. Four years undergrad, worthless degree. He's two years younger than me. Um, almost three years younger than me. Three years younger than me. So that puts him, he graduated his undergrad in 2000, master's in art in 2002. Oh no, he graduated in 2004 and immediately went to work in the government and later became an investment banker. Um, normally I'd say working as an investment banker it counts as real world working experience, but not when you get their sucking dick. I mean, in the United States, you got to suck dick to get an investment banking. But this guy, this cocksucker, he goes immediately works for the government, and then and with a with a worthless shitty degree that no has no place in investment banking. No, you're not a you're not a quant. You're not a programmer. You're not an analyst. You don't even know which way to hold up an income statement. Oh, you're an investment banker now. Uh, yeah, that doesn't count. You new rule on the Clary test. If you got your job like Chelsea uh, Clinton did, she worked at a hedge fund as a hedge fund analyst. Do you think she knows fucking which way an income statement goes? You know, that doesn't count as real world working experience. You have to earn your way into it. No real world working experience. So what, he's been 2004. Appointed. Yeah, he's in government in 2012. Member of the Socialist Party because he's a fucking pussy. Government, 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 government. Was he now? He's the fucking. What did what did the United States and Canada and France all do? Decide to grab our, our most lamest, no real world working experience. We had Obama. Now you got Trudeau. Now you got this putz. What is wrong with you people? I love it how the socialists and the Democrats and the labor parties are all for the working man, but you guys elect the most spoiled, soft, trust fund, fun baby fucks ever. Like, don't you blue-collar Democrats and so, like, you, you labor workers, you guys actually work in the coal mine, don't you get sick and tired of voting for these dainty, soft-fingered pussies when you shake their hand, it's all so You ever shake a man's hand and it's soft, it's like, ugh. There's, like, no callus, no nothing. Guys, they just, like, get manicures and shit, and it's a guy. Like, what the fuck? Oh, but they, they're in charge, and they care about the working man. Morons. Okay, and then he's been in government ever since. This guy has a, a Wikipedia entry that is laughable because it's so damn long and he hasn't done shit. I know he's president now, I know, but it mean, for a worthless man, for a truly worthless man, my God, he's just Trudeau over in France. All right, so he gets a score of uh, four. Four, the worst score ever. Remember, this is golf. You want to have a low score. A completely worthless piece of shit. Should he run for office? No, but that's the type that runs for office because you fucking moron. Oh, he said the right things and said that he'll take other people's money because he's for the working man, even though he never worked a day in his life and he came for fucking trust fund money. <laughs> Do I want to have a beer with him? No. No, I don't want to have a beer with him. I don't want to shake. I'm afraid I have to shake his hand and be all limp and soft. And, uh, God almighty, Putin could just, you just throw Putin in with Obama, Trudeau, and this Macron guy. <laughs> he kicked the shit out of all of them. They can throw three against one and my might still be on Putin. Fucking hell. All right, that's it. You guys got questions, Captain's got answers, assholeconsulting.com, where we will administer the Clary Test and advance political science, which isn't a science, by the way. It's just something that you lazy, spoiled, rotten suburb kids major in. Uh, we can advance political science that way. And then if you like this and you have no use for my services, you can always donate to my Patreon account. And uh, I think we're up to $16 now a month. But you want to donate because it pisses off all the right people. They're like, you fucking hypocrite. You da, 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 da. So patreon.com slash Aaron Clary. Check out my books and listen to The Clary Podcast. You can find it online. How do I find it? I don't know. Fucking Google search it. The Clary Podcast. There it is. SoundCloud. Boom. All right. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.